Hello, hello, beautiful people. Welcome back to a brand new vlog with Sally Paul Matthews. I'm sure that you guys watched uh, yesterday's vlog, uh, which was uh, regarding the comfort food, uh, fried chicken. And uh, yes, many people have wrote to me and they've told me that I've got a couple of calls from my friends and uh, they're like, uh, you have nothing else to do. You've actually proved it. But <coughs> Uh, anyways, you know, this is something which I wanted to do, so I did it. Now, uh, today, the same thing, the same drill, I'm doing the same drill again, but this time it's pizza. So I ordered uh, pizza from four different places. I'm um, just waiting for the order to come in. And once it is in, oh my goodness, let's rock and roll and tell which one is in the number one, number two, number three, number four position as per Sevi Paul Matthews. So stay tuned and yeah, go ahead subscribe to that, uh, you know, hit that subscribe button and subscribe to my channel. Don't waste time, you know, the order is coming. Ding, ding. Oh, the bell rang. So I should go for it. So finally, the pizzas have arrived. Uh, four of them, Debonair's, Domino's, Pizza Hut and Papa John's. All the four are pretty famous here in Dubai. So I'm just going to try. One slice from each of them and I will tell you what I feel according to me is number one, two and three. And these are all the meaty pizzas, you know, like the Super Supreme and all all meat in meatsy and all this stuff. So let's kick it. Uh, we'll start with uh, Pizza Hut, the world famous, the world renowned Pizza Hut. Actually, uh, this is the thin crust which I've ordered, uh, and this is called Super Supreme. That is the one with all the meat, you know, it's got uh, beef and it's got pepperoni, it's got olives and uh, a little bit of pepper, black or green pepper, and uh, what is it? And onions. Okay, now let us take a slice out. So, let me just quickly taste it. Mm. Okay, uh, you really get a taste of the olives, you, the meat, I got a good bite uh, and I would say that the crust, the thin crust is nice, you know, not compared to the thick crust. I like the thin crust on pizza, so most of the time when I get an opportunity to order, I order a thin crust. They only get... Mm, Ketchup, ketchup with this so um, I need to get some hot sauce or something to make it a little spicy but not spicy but yeah if you like meat there is a good variation of meat in this like um, you know like the ones which I told you so uh, let's go to the next one uh, which I'm going to have is Domino's um, you can see that Give a closer look. Uh, I wanted to order the thin crust, but it was not available. I couldn't find it online, you know, like when I was trying to place the order on Zumato. So I ordered the thick crust. Again, this is called the Meatsy. Uh, the same version, you know, like uh, it's all meat. So it's got pepperoni, it's got uh, beef, uh, beef sausages, and then cheese and stuff like that, okay. Uh, you know, there is a saying that you have to eat pizza from outside to inside. Mm, I don't know, I've heard it. You know, people say that you know you need to take a bite from outside, so it's up to you. It's your choice. I like to eat it from inside to outside because people, generally I don't eat uh, this portion of a pizza because it's too much, it's too filling, you know. I don't, it, it's very bland taste too. And now let's check the taste out. Uh, Sorry. Oh, this one, the sauce is really nice. I can still. You know, the sauce that they, the pizza sauce they put in the base, uh, it's very rich. I really get uh, a very good um, a burst of, uh, you know, like a burst of uh, my senses of taste. So many things are there, I think, you know, inside this one, so um, it's it's nice. This is more than what I expected, you know. 
Mm. Okay, the next one which I'm going to try is Papa John's. Okay, now this pizza, as I told you earlier. No. Fancy. <laughs> Okay, uh, this pizza has got the garlic paste and uh, it's got uh, something which I like, chilies. It's a spicy, you know. It's, again, uh, the combination is the same. It's got pepperoni and it's got beef uh, sausage and this is a thin crust. So, I like the cheese. The cheese also looks a little different in this. I'm not sure what cheese it is, but I think it is the same. Mozzarella. So we'll we'll have one like this. This is good, huh? seriously. Hmm. Oh, I'm so happy. And when there's something spicy, I really like it. Well, yeah, I like spice of life. So in the same way, I like to have some spice with everything. With the garlic sauce, yeah. Very nice. Satisfaction. No, no, this taste, um, the crust is nice and you know it's not too much. I like this, you know, though I cannot feel the sauce like how the other one, uh, I did feel the sauce, but uh, in this I don't feel the, uh, the sauce, but uh, I don't get a taste of the sauce, but uh, still I like it. But even on a lighter note, it's, it's, it's not very heavy. Like how pizzas normally are, it's not very heavy. And the crust, which normally everybody describes, even that has got a taste on it. That's nice. I like it though. So, after Papa John's all the meat pizza, uh, which is really nice, uh, now I'm trying another one, which is Domino's something meaty. Yeah, it is. You can see that, you know. Really. Uh, it's again a thin crust. Uh, it's uh, it's got pretty much the same things: uh, pepperoni, beef, uh, and uh, I think this is not the beefy one. This is uh, mutton. You know, it's not beef. Uh, it is macon. So this is the mutton one. You know, mutton sausage or lamb sausage, whatever it is. So let's try this. Uh, it really looks nice. You know? I mean, I like the way it looks. It looks like a very authentic pizza, uh, like how pizza should look like, how pizzas look in Italy. You know. Uh, so let's taste it. Mm. The dog is good. I mean, the base. You know, I can get the taste of uh, mutton. This is lamb, and uh, I get the taste of pepperoni, and the. I think the sauce is uh, uh, barbecue sauce mm, uh, that they have put. I'm not very sure about it, but I think I'm getting a taste of barbecue sauce. Mm. Yes, um, it's barbecue sauce. I'm 100% right now. Uh, the cheese also tastes good. And um, yes, I would eat this pizza again. I think a little bit of chili flakes and oregano will give you a better taste. Mm. If you want to sprinkle some on this, but otherwise, without that also, this is very decent. I mean, I would say it's it's attractive, you know, like you you would like to eat it. So I think uh, that's about it. Man, that was one hearty meal. Look at my face. You can just say it in my face. You know, I, eating so much pizza has made me feel very lethargic. And without much of a suspense, I'm directly going into the winner of today's pizza tasting competition. And that is, yes, Papa John's. Dying. Okay. Now, why I gave Papa John's number one position? Number one, it is because the whole thing, the whole pizza as such, really look very nice. Uh, it's accompaniments like the chili and uh, the the garlic sauce it scored points extra points uh yes the the consistency uh, or the amount of chicken the amount of pepperoni the amount of cheese the amount of the sauce the, the dough everything the proportion was perfect so i say that all the meats pizza from papa john's 
is today's weather. Uh, it costs about 29 dirhams and then they charge about 6 dirhams 50 fills for delivery, which I don't agree, but that's how it is. Uh, so my number one position goes to Papa John's. Now, the second position goes to Debonair Pizza. As you've seen, the Debonair Pizza was a very good looking pizza. It exactly looked like an Italian pizza. Uh, it was the flat bread, it looked everything. But since I'm not a huge fan of barbecue sauce, uh, it scored a little bit of points less. But I really like the meat. The proportion of the meat compared to any pizza today, uh, they had the most. I feel that the proportion of the meat was uh, way more than uh, uh, even Papa John's. Uh, like, meat was more than the rest. Uh, so it was not equally, I wouldn't say that you know, everything was in sync. <coughs> in Papa John's, yes, there was a sink. And there's a meat proportion was more, which I like. Uh, if you like a meaty pizza, yes, uh, I would really recommend this too. Uh, but uh, if you can change the sauce, or if you like barbecue sauce, man, uh, then yes, Devonair pizza. Devonair's, uh, I think the name of the pizza is something meaty. Yes, something meaty is the name of the pizza. Uh, and you can uh, order it for 29 dirhams. Uh, plus about 6 dirhams or 7 dirhams for delivery and you can taste it and today's second position goes to Debonair Pizza now the third position actually goes to uh, Domino's Pizza uh, it, it's called Meats uh, from Domino's Pizza uh, the only thing which attracted me most uh, on the pizza was uh, the sauce the sauce was very rich uh, I wouldn't say the proportion of meat uh, was uh, in proportion to the sauce and the, the, the whole base uh, was correct. Um, okay, yeah, but I would say that um, the sauce was good. I like the sauce. So yeah, it is 26 dirhams plus 5 or 6 dirhams for, uh, uh, for delivery. Uh, and it's called Mitsi. And that holds third position today. And last but not the least, uh, in today's competition, unfortunately, uh, the world renowned Pizza Hut, uh, it's there around the world. I've had pizzas from Pizza Hut uh, in many countries. Uh, and I'm very, it's very unfortunate that, you know, they really don't, uh, you know, even though they are a big chain and they're huge and humongous, um, they still only got the fourth position because the pizza was uh, not excellent. Um, compared to the rest, uh, the rest were all really way better than that in taste and looks. Uh, this pizza looked nice, they had vegetables uh, like olives and um, green pepper uh, and meat. Uh, the Super Supreme is what I ordered. Um, uh, I don't know, I was not very happy with comparison to the other. Would I order it again? No, I would not order it again, you know. But it's only 23 bucks uh, and then I think they charge about 7 dirhams. So yeah, 6 dirhams, 6.50 or 7 uh, for uh, delivery. Mm, you can find it. Uh, if you really want to just have a pizza thing, you know, if you're not like a, uh, if you're not like, you know, you want to have something, you just want to have pizza, yeah, you can have Pizza Hut. Otherwise, no. You know, I wouldn't really recommend uh, Pizza Hut. Uh, my recommendation would always be Papa John's. So again, I come back uh, just before winding up this vlog. Uh, uh, the first one was Papa John's. Uh, it was called All the Meat. And uh, the second one was uh, Devonair's Something Meaty. Uh, third one was on uh, Domino's. It's called Meats. And the last and but not the least. Uh, was Pizza Hut's uh, Super Supreme. So please go ahead and try all those. Uh, now, I don't know whether you liked the video. Yesterday's video, people liked it. Uh, so I got a little bit of feedback on that. So you can also drop a feedback uh, whether you've tried any of the pizzas which I should try uh, and put it with the list. Uh, so once the lockdown is over, I can go and try. There are a few other companies which I really like too. Uh, but uh, anyways, uh, right now, what you can get on Zomato, if you if you have the choice, uh, let me know. And uh, please uh, connect to me again. Uh, tell me, give me feedbacks. And uh, yeah, subscribe to my channel. You know, do something fruitful. You know, and uh, yeah, follow me on uh, Instagram and Facebook. No, uh, because I'm here. Yeah waiting for you guys to connect <laughs> so love you all till next time